Darren, hey bud. What up, Matt? Biggest win of your career? Would you say that? Um, yeah, I'd say the biggest win. You know what I mean? A uh, top 10 guy. Um, I've been at those fights where I fought, uh, you know, top 10 guys. And I just couldn't get the job done. You know what I mean? Like, I, I was right there. You know, I could maybe next fight could have been a big fight for me. And I've uh, been stopped there a few times. So this was a big fight for me, man. Uh, you know, my first co-main event. Um, coming off four four straight wins, you know, Bactic was a tough fight, so I had to come back in here and uh, put on the show. And this is five in a row, and I couldn't be happier. Was he? Uh, did he give you the kind of test that you knew that he was gonna that he was gonna give you in there? Yeah, man. I mean, this is why. I know he said it too, but this is why I wanted this fight. He's gonna come in. He's gonna wrestle. He's gonna strike. He's gonna mix it up. And you know, style, style, strategy-wise for fighting, we have the kind of the same thing. You know, a lot of striking with mixing up with a lot of takedowns and a lot of grappling. So I mean, when it comes to fights like that and this dirty boxing, this clinch work, and this you know, this an endurance type of fights, that's when I do my best. The grind is is my game, and those are the fights I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see it in. You know, if it's it's not the prettiest stuff sometimes, but man, I make it work and I make it work good. When you got to the end and they uh, and they were about to read off the scores, what was going through your mind? I mean, I saw you nod kind of in agreement when when you knew that you had one of them, but before that third one came out, what were you thinking? I was uh, I was a little worried, man. I mean, I was like, I don't know how this is going to happen, but when you know it's a split decision, when they don't say uh, by unanimous decision, so I knew it was going to a split decision right away. And man, you're always freaking gasping for air when you hear it's a split decision because you never know what they're going to see. Um, I thought for sure I won the first two rounds. I think he probably won the third round for sure. So I don't, I don't know. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. The judges are different. But I, I thought for sure I won the first two rounds, so I thought I won the fight. But when they read the scorecards, I was nervous. Obviously, you said this is five in a row for you, which is a pretty big accomplishment in, in, uh, at the featherweight division. All five since moving out to California. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the difference that that makes, you know, being with those guys? Yeah, it's just, uh, you know, we have the best training partners, um, guys who's going to push each other. Um, I have, uh, you know, athletes that's like fast, like if I need an explosive fighter, I got those type of fighters. Um, so we have a, a bunch of guys who have the same goals. We're going to push hard every day, come in there, and uh, we, we make each other better. And then you add the coaching aspect in it. You know, I got we got some of the best coaches. We got multiple coaches, you know, a lot of them fought in the UFC before. And uh, they're, just, they're just willing to help us all the time. They take uh, real pride in their work, and it just uh, pays off. And we have a good energy, man. We have an energy that I think it's not like any other gym. We have fun, and we uh, do work. I know you've always been, you know, blue-collar kind of worker, you know, the Midwest guy, humble guy. Is there anybody that you want to kind of call out? Is there any names that you're looking at in that top ten now that you're almost certainly going to get that kind of an opponent, opponent next? You know, I haven't sat by, uh, I've thought about a bunch of guys. There's a lot of good matchups, you know, the Zombie, the Cub Swanson. I want a guy like that, you know. I think uh, I deserve a guy like that. I want a guy that's going to be a, a exciting fight and uh, put me right there in that title contention because five in a row is close. I don't think I deserve it yet, but I deserve a top five guy, you know what I mean, top six guy for sure, and that will put me in the talk. Great. Thanks, man. Congrats. Always a pleasure. Thanks. Darren, congrats on the win. Um, you, you talked. You talked about uh, going into uh, hostile territory, facing the local guy, which you've done in the past before. Um, just sort of, can you sort of assess um, the situation here tonight at the Coliseum, Bermuda's hometown? Um, yeah, yeah, it's uh, nothing different than I've seen. You know, you come out there, um, you get booed. Um, they're not gonna be cheering for me. Obviously, they announce my name. They're gonna boo me. There's not gonna be that positive energy, but. Um, I feed off the negative energy too, you know. I don't mind being uh, the spoiler, the bad guy, the underdog. I mean, most of the time I'm an underdog in my fights. I'm the spoiler. I'm going to somebody else's hometown, home country. And uh, I kind of relish that role, you know. It's less stress on me, less pressure on me. It's more pressure on the other people. And uh, I just have to focus on performing, and that's it. Thank you. That's it. Thank you.